Okay, hey guys, look, um, I'm here at Salon a la mode. Um, I just had to get up and come and see for myself. Um, they are here, <laughs> they are live, and I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see. Right now, code enforcement with Dallas County is here. Um, so we're just gonna see what happened. Um, I did speak with one of the owners, and he did say that they spoke with uh, TDLR on last evening. And um, I, I came, I needed to see for myself what happened. Now, like I said, they weren't far from me. So I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see where I am and what's going on. So this is Salon Alamo. He's one of the owners. He was a gentleman that I spoke with. As you can see, they have their clients six feet at distancing. This is the salon location. Um, the media was out here. Um, I, I, I think again, you know, she's doing what she feels that she has to do. So let's see how this turns out. Um, unfortunately, I do feel like if something doesn't happen, there's going to be a pandemic in the city. Um, I have had I have someone that's reaching out to John Wiley Price for me. Um, if you guys can see, Dallas Fire Rescue is just here. Um, I spoke with a good friend of mine earlier today. And like I told her, I do believe that they will be shut down. Um, just my opinion, because the city of Dallas, this is the city of Dallas. This is not Dallas County. This is the city of Dallas. They do not want an issue on our hands. Why don't they shut down a pet store Okay, so the pet store. Where's the pet store? Young, young lady, where's the pet store? Right there. Okay, so the young, yeah, so you see the fire department, the uh, city of Dallas fire code enforcement is here, but like they said, here we are with a pet department that's actually open. Um, let's see here, Spring Creek, people picking up their dogs. <laughs> their dogs are being groomed, but the dogs can be groomed, I guess, one at a time. I don't know, just my thought about it. <laughs> um, Uh, so I'm here. I told you guys. Uh, I pray to God that this does not get out of hand. Um, but I had to get up this morning and I had to come and see for myself. I had to see we have this thing is real. I'm in Dallas, Texas. I'm on Beltline near Spring Creek. Um, I'm a salon owner. I am. I've been out of work for a week and a month. What a month is a lot of us that have, but this virus is real. So I want to see what the city of Dallas is going to do. TDLR had better come up to par as they said that they would, because if they don't, I'm trying to zoom in on this helicopter that's hovering. Because if they don't, they're going to have a ruckus on their hand because there are a lot of people that are losing their lives, livelihood behind this. There are a lot of people who can't pay their bills. There's a lot of businesses that are closing behind this. So I had to get up this morning, ran out without my mask, <laughs> but the lady at the uh, fabric store was kind enough to give me some fabric. Um, but I just want you guys, I just wanted to come live so that you guys can see that this is real. And again, I say the pet grooming place is open. Uh, this Lonnie, uh, this is in, I don't even know what you would, <laughs> This is, it's, it's North Dallas. I would say consider Northeast. Northeast Dallas, uh, closer to 75 um, in Spring Valley. But it's at Beltline, between Beltline and Spring Valley. Let me get in my car so I can get my glasses because I can't read the compliment comments. But she's open. And as I said last night, I don't believe that it's gonna be allowed to stay open. But I had to come and see for myself because if it's allowed to stay open, then Dallas County is about to have an issue on their hands. The city of Dallas is going to have a whole problem on their hand if this continues. Thank you guys for coming out. This is gonna be a catastrophe. Uh, Lakeisha, you're right. Uh, I, I think that's what you said. But, um, I wanted you guys to see. I wanted you. I wanted to be. I, I had to come so that I could see for myself. Um, and I'm going to show you again the helicopter that's luring around in the air. Um, but she's open. I'm going to go back in the area. The news media is here. I'm going to go back so you guys can see.
She is open. She has people in her space. People that are waiting outside that are being serviced. Um, people that are being serviced are waiting outside in lounge chairs, staying six feet apart. I did, again, I did speak with one of the owners. I spoke with the male owner, but that is a salon location. But what's most interesting is this. Yeah, so, and this is where I'm going to stand at a distance because I did ask them for, for permission to film it and they said no. But see where the people in the blue are sitting in the chairs? That is actually customers waiting to be serviced and they're waiting outside. And they have a full salon. The chairs are filled with people. And as there you can see that tiny little dot in the air. That is actually... I'm going to assume the news media hovering. If I can get somebody to go who's local to go on and um, see what news channel that is, because as I said, you can see them hovering. Yeah, so when the lady at Salon a la Mode yesterday went on live on the news, what I can respect about her, and I don't, I'm not on here to ask anybody's opinion about it. I'm not on here to uh, get anybody to agree with me. What I am saying is what I can respect about her decision to do this is she didn't sneak and do it. She did it out front. She's, she's being bold for whatever reason she feels like she needs to, and she's going to hopefully have to suffer some consequences for her actions because that's what the state of Texas said that they would do. That's what TDLR said that they would do. That is what um, Clay Jenkins said that he would do. So now the citizens of Dallas, Texas has to see if they're going to hold up to their word. Because if not, he's going to have a plethora of pissed off black people on their hands and there are going to be salons opening everywhere so i just had to come out like i said for myself to see um a friend of mine donna Vick, called me and said that it was so so i had to come out myself and see um if this lady was truly this bold and she was truly this bold she's in there she's working she's greeting people her business partners greeting people and they are in dallas texas on Beltline uh, and near Beltline and Spring Valley and they are open. I'm going to show you guys the shopping center and even the dog grooming place is open which is one of the things that had um, Commissioner John Wally Price so irritated is that you got these people out here who can't go to work. He's talking about his 5,000 O and code enforcement is out here as you guys can see. And let me turn around, turn this around. I'm talking about I'm trying to show y'all I'm camera on myself code enforcement is here and they say that they're going to shut them down from what i overheard from one person but pretty much from where i'm at i believe that this is good old money but the law is the law and like i said <laughs> i don't know because a lot of us look like because we're business owners that we got money a lot of people out here <laughs> just because they white black whatever they broke they struggling and this is going to take a hit on all of us. Does not give her the right, nevertheless, to do opposite of what the law says. So I'm expecting Dallas County and law enforcement to step up and show up and show us what kind of city we live in. I want somebody to make sure. Y'all be sure to share this. Be sure to share this. Be sure to share this. The helicopter's in the air. They're luring, lingering over this place. But be sure to share this. Because if they don't fix this, they're going to have a problem on their head. That's all I have to say. I'm sorry, guys. I can't see none of y'all comments because the sun is glaring over me. I can't see it. Praise God, the sun is at least shining. But y'all, I hope y'all can see the helicopter, see the shopping center that we're in. Like I said, this is, this is, some, this is an established area in Dallas. Don't make it right, your daggum show is wrong. And I want to see what our elected officials are going to do because you have, as, as Commissioner John Wally Price said, he got 5,000 hairstylists in Dallas in the DFW metropolitan area that can't work. So she took a stand for her business. So I want to see what's going to happen. She's in there and like I said, they're working. 
You see right through that peak there where it says Salon a la mode? They're in there and they are working and the news people are here. Code enforcement is here. Dallas County <laughs> had better step up. Dallas County had better step up on this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my car and get some charge because I do not want this phone to go dead when the important piece is happen. So uh, y'all just bear with me for a minute. Y'all bear with me. Let me see what y'all saying. I got my good old hand sanitizer right here. You know, Sharice, let me turn this around. I, I, you know, I, I passionately stated to many people last night. I'm not saying that this is right. I'm saying that this lady, for whatever reason, she felt that she was going to disobey the law for the state of Texas and open up her business. I needed to be here to see because she is. John Wiley Price, Commissioner Price, has told people we got over 50,000, 5,000, I think he said 5,000 hairstylists in DFW in Dallas County alone. I'm in Collin County, but I am a huge proponent of right and wrong, period, point blank. I want to, I'm going to be looking at TDLR. I want to make sure, as a matter of fact, somebody on here tag TDLR, Texas Department of Licenses and Regulations. I want to see what TDLR is doing because this is one of those things that if they allow this to happen, Salons all over Dallas going to be open tomorrow, and it ain't a daggum thing that they're going to be able to do about it. I'm all about decent, decency in order, decency in order, decency in order. But this lady, for whatever reason, felt like she could. Some say privilege, some say fear. Whatever the case may have been, Dallas County did not give Salons the opening, the, 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 the go they did not give us the um the word to open up they did not give us the word to open up they didn't tell barbershop they could open they didn't tell salons that they could open but this lady is open she is servicing clients i'm not telling you what i heard i'm out here on the ground myself i spoke with her partner who's who's partner of the salon and he said that they spoke with tdlr last night so tdlr is very well aware of this and because I have been a stylist for 25 years, this bothers me. Now, again, I'll go back and say all the things I said last night. I'm not saying that she's right. I'm, saying, I'm not saying the young lady who was doing nails in Laredo was right. But the same way that they arrested that young lady in Laredo, I need to see somebody in trouble today. I need to see somebody get charged with attempted murder today. I, I don't know, you know, the same things that they've been doing with everybody around the world. There is no way that this lady should walk away from this unscathed. Absolutely, positively impossible. Absolutely, positively impossible, guys. You know, Lee, you know, they say white is all white, but it, it's about time for it to break. And if I got anything to do with it, I'm going to do my part. That's all I can say because, you know, people are, people, people's livelihoods are at stake right now. You know, and as long as, and the way I feel about it, like I told a friend of mine, I said, the way I feel about it, as long as we sit back and we just keep looking and having these inside private conversations, nothing's ever going to change. But in order for us to see change and for change to come about, we're going to have to get in the middle of it. You're not going to be able to deny me. We have not been cleared by TDLR, continue. We have not. We have not been cleared by TDLR. In your state, in, nobody in the state of Texas other than um, that little place, I forget, over far on the other side of Fort Worth, they haven't been cleared by their mayor. The, po the, the president of the United States said he's given each mayor the opportunity to do it their way. Now, I did not see 
where Mayor Johnson said it was okay. I did not see where, Claire, where, where Jenkins said that it was okay. Oh, I'm in the car. Okay, here come the cops. So, okay, guys, my phone is about to die, but I'm going to try my best to turn this around. God dang it. Hold on. I'm careful. I got, I, I ran out without my mask, but I got this, y'all. Young lady at this fabric store gave me two sheets of fabric. And y'all know I can't afford to be sick. I've been following all the rules, but I had to come out here and see. And I'm keeping my six feet distance. I'm sitting in my car right now. Y'all see, I'm in my car. I am not, I'm not out there amongst them. But I want to see what's going to happen. I just had to see for myself because this is crazy. So I'm going to... Uh, um, you know, it's amazing because the thing is about being present and being live, you get to hear what people really think. Um, I just, I am, I am amazed at people, but I'm not surprised. Somebody do the statistics for me on how many salons are there in the DFW metropolitan area because she she took a stance for herself, but can you imagine how many people would die from this virus if all of us got bold enough and did what she did? People would be dying like flies by the end of next week. Again, I will say this. I'm not saying that she's right, but I want Dallas to do something about this. We, this cannot happen. There's one salon opening. If they allow this to go through, I will promise you by Monday, every daggum salon in the DFW metropolitan area and surrounding cities will be open by tomorrow. I've been in business for 25 years, and I'm not saying that she's right, but I got the right to make money just like she does. So if you're going to change the rules for one, you better get to the de demanding the law be changed within the next 24 hours. I need Commissioner Price on this. I need Clay Jenkins aware of this. I am certain that everybody that's Dallas County officials are on this, and I need to make sure that this is not going to happen and we're going to have to look at this and realize that we're still living in wrong times. So, um, oh my God, my phone is dying. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. We can stand for something or we'll fall for anything. We can keep sitting back having these private conversations, but it's time for the private summers conversations to be over. The same way this woman worked to build her business and she feel like she has a right to come in and go to work, I built my business over 25 years. I have not had an income coming in. My constituents have not had an income coming in. And, I'm, and she does not get the right to go and open her salon outside of the law. That is what I'm saying. That is what I'm sticking to. I don't know if she's operating out of fear. I don't know if she's operating out of privilege. I'll say the same I said last night. I don't think she's operating out of privilege. I think that a lot of us wish we were bold enough, had the, the genitals and the kahunas, shall I say, to do exactly what this lady did. And maybe if we would have all gotten together and did what she did, then maybe we would have gotten some answers. But unfortunately, she's one person standing on her own and Dallas County is showing up and I want to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to turn this back around for the little time that I have. Somebody please contact John, John Wiley Price office for me. Uh, a friend of mine is getting a number, but I can't call and record. So I may have to come up off of here guys for just a quick minute. Um, but I will pop back on to let you guys see, please. When you go back on, make this thing, um, <laughs> Let me turn this around so you guys can see where I'm at. I'm at Salon a la mode. She's open. She's here. There are people standing out here. Dallas County. You see the media? Uh, there are even some rebels, I guess. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm from Dallas, but hell, I, I'm from South Dallas. <laughs> it's a lot of this shit I don't, I don't get to see because I live out here, but I, I, I still stay in my zone. But I will say that the uh, dog grooming place is open. How about that? The dog grooming place is open, but we can't go in and we can't make money. And the, the thing, I probably wouldn't say anything about the dog grooming places being open other than the fact that they're open. But at the same token, it was just stated in the media that dogs are actually coming up with the COVID as well. So you tell me, <laughs> should they be open? Are they as much of an issue as we are? You tell me. What do y'all think about that? Yeah, I'm not gonna give them any. I'm not gonna give any power, but I, I'll say, my car is crunk up here. 
but I'm on one percent guys so I'm gonna jump off get let my battery get a little juice so that if anything happens I can keep you guys live I'll be back live please pay attention please share P please pay attention and please share please pay attention and please share this post thank you I'll be right back guys